Egyptians are light are are fair skinned women in by Japan standards. I, I did that. Yeah, you're a horny guy with too much time on his hands. Does it sound about right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ah. Okay. And I, I'm guess I'm just a weeb who has too much time on his hands as well. So as usual, this is a fate figure. I just don't know what it is. Hopefully, my good buddy over here can back me up. So without further ado, it's gonna be whoever this bitch is, Cleopatra. Assassin. Oh yeah, it's Cleopatra. Interesting. All right. Oh. Okay, don't even say anything yet. Quite the opposite. I have much of little to say about um, Cleopatra mm -hmm. because she's kind of a joke servant. Is it, like the, is it like the toothpaste bitch from that one time? Am I getting trolled? No, 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 no. How can I explain this? Say actually had some uh, importance in the story, but Cleopatra has only been like Halloween events. And she hasn't done anything else. It's... And what she did in those Halloween events was silly. Like, uh, usually, whenever it's Halloween, the tradition is that we have Elizabeth Bartori uh, having some bullshit adventure and a new version of herself. Holy of, of fuck. which we pair up. Let's get the shit out of me. I'll carry on. Uh, which we pair up to. And in one of these adventures, just Cleopatra drop a pyramid on top of her castle and try to take over the, the land. Hmm. I'm gonna say uh, one thing. Let me just interrupt you real quick. I'm gonna say one thing. Holy mm -hmm. shit, look at that. Type moon hair. You know exactly what mm -hmm. I'm talking about. Holy, Massive hair. Holy crap. Type moon hair. All their, well, a good chunk of their female leads have ridiculously long hair, but holy shit. Yeah, not, not quite a fan of this one, honestly. Like, she, she, it's indifferent to me. She's indifferent to you. So, would you really consider her a joke, a joke character? I mean, they haven't really done shit with her. She's just like, uh... Uh, August Caesar main bitch. And nothing else beyond that. Oh, so just people, just so people know, we're being totally indifferent and not biased about it. We're giving our honest opinions about said figures. If we say anything that offends you, look, it's literally just our opinions. Our opinions should never be seen as facts. If I think Rinto Saka's a bitch, then that's my opinion. Maybe she's not a bitch, who knows. But if Stormix is saying anything negative about Cleopatra and that offends you, it's just his, his own damn opinion. All right, carry on, Stormix. It, it's not a real thing. It's a, it, it, she is, as you know, in actual real life lore, like the beauty, uh, and very intimate with uh, Caesar, yeah. the um, Roman emperor. Uh, and I really don't know much about her because there's not much uh, about her besides probably almost copy paste uh, story between her how she is uh, in fate to her, how she is in real life. Mm -hmm. uh, again, uh, almost every aspect, which is, it, that is a nice thing, which is, because it's kind of how they did before with any other characters in Space Day Night. They need to be like very, uh, let's say very faithful to the source material. And Cleopatra is one of those characters, except for maybe the clothing. Let me interrupt you real quick. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, there's six separate parts in this in this anime figure. Why is there six separate parts? Why is her hand by herself, by itself? All right, carry she on. She has a lot of the stories, and you know, it, she's the kind of character that always has to lift her hand like up. Oh. Has to have a, 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 you, you know what I'm talking about. Yo, Joe-sama? You know, so. She's kind of like that. Um, I could like more about her gameplay, I mean... Yeah, like, how is she as a unit? Important, as a unit, she's actually pretty good. She's one of the stronger AoE servants you can get, and she can do very, very large amounts of damage, and it's very useful if you happen to got her, mm -hmm. and you somehow like her for her animations or character itself. So let's put you in a, um, let's put you in a situation where you're, you know a lot about. You're, you're fucked right now. The game's forcing you to use M.A.S.H. Up front, is Cleo can Cleopatra actually cover for you, or are you fucked? 
if I'm fighting even neutral or I'm fighting especially a rider, then she would be rather excellent for it. Uh, she has uh, most of stuff coverage. She has very decent damage despite her AOE, uh, her MP being AOE, but it has a lot of very good utility in herself to keep her uh, to keep her alive, uh, like. Uh, MP regeneration, HP regeneration, like guns. She has her own invincibility, so she can survive and remove debuffs. Mm -hmm. So she's very self-sufficient, especially even if I have her with BR mash, that's probably a very decent combo by itself to kill stuff. Because she already has a lot of uh, utility that allows her to survive by herself and then mash can enhance that even further so yeah that that will be strong enough for most things especially if you're fighting a rider would people the go out of only... their way to get her i don't think so mm -hmm. uh, as much as a very good assassin she's the only problem or tiny problem is that she kind of sub subverts is that if her mp is aoe which is kind of not the best for an assassin because uh you know you would rather have something more lethal, and AoE MPs usually have a multiplier that makes it do less damage in general, right. you know, to compensate for the fact that they're hitting three people. Which applies to everyone except for gear damage, because, you know, that's the skill. The only kind of iffy part about her is that she has Imperial Privilege, which is kind of a particular skill that uh, many many like kings or emperors can have like a bunch of romans roman emperors does it do uh, have that mm -hmm. which uh, sadly is kind of rng because it has let me see how much is it a 60 percent chance to increase her own attack and defense for three turns which that's a long time and it's a very big um, increase it's like 40 percent but you know it's right rng there. so if she feels like she can uh, fuck you up. Right. So, like I was saying earlier, do you feel like people will go out of their way just to get her, or she just, oh, hey, I just rolled her, cool. I don't think the people will really go out of her way. She's not very all that interesting. There's not a lot more to her. Uh, some people don't even remember she exists, but she is okay. I you guess she's okay. popular can... enough to get an anime figure, I guess. Oh, well, you know, things are always different in Japan. Um, people value a lot uh, when it comes to farming. Um, because she's a... She's a... AOE assassin. She can cover that uh, that part when you need something to nuke yeah. uh, a whole way of riders. You can have her. She's very efficient for that with her own battery. And she, do you feel she comes in clutch at times? No. Ooh, wow. If you need clutch, because uh, here's the thing. A anyone can be good at farming and it's not going to be very interesting. Because I can roll a Ash, I can roll uh, Spartacus, and I can roll uh, Christian Anderson and Chen Gong, which are all uh, free-to-play units that you can get from the frame point system, so they're super free. Yeah. And I can farm the and practically entire game with just that, and then complement that with like a support uh, from the support list. So clear is not that immediately necessary. Mm -hmm. uh, usually, uh, Seren may be more interesting if it covers a niche or is very good against uh, you know against bosses. How does she fare against like bosses? That. Against bosses, she will fare extremely well. Especially if you, um, even without uh, the most stronger supports, she can consistently put up her MP out. Do, she's an assassin, so she will crit a lot. And she works well with the being Buster, will work well with Chen Gong, which is the, the primary support for Buster. Mm -hmm. So there won't be much issue. If you want to use her to kill um, a Rider, then she will be doing extremely fine. Or even Berserkers, where you will expect. Uh, them to have a lot of damage. She can just protect herself with her invincibility and defense up So she won't immediately die. She doesn't need to be babysit that much Okay, so, functional unit. 
So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be that guy and already say this. All right, the figure itself is godlike. It's just the problem with the figure itself. I'm about to mention is this stand right here. To be honest with you, you don't need this. The figure is secure enough that it's not gonna go anywhere. Hold on. Like, this shit is not gonna go anywhere at all. Like, this is fine. Not gonna go anywhere. This, on the other hand, is gonna come out a lot. Like, you have to find the perfect placement because her hair as you know she has the fate hair it's all over the freaking place you gotta find the the best angle imaginable so this horizontal section does not come out so i'm gonna try it again i'm gonna try to get this bitch on there then we'll go from there destromix design wise how do you feel about her design uh i feel different like she doesn't call for my attention she doesn't do anything particular that i care much about it's too much drip then not she looks okay she's not upsetting There's nothing about how she looks in comparison or... to who? in comparison uh well like Van Gogh for instance that would be atrocious mm -hmm. like... or even like Raiko if you want to be a, a bit more out there who drew her I would like to know like um what about, um, what's the, oh God, what's the, Raiden, what, 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 is that her name? The purple haired archer chick? Archer? I can't, I, I, I'll, I'll let you, I'll remind you later. I can't remember her name, it's been a while. No, you mean Ryder? Like Medusa? No, not, not Ryder. It's, uh, I can't remember the name. I, I'm not going to butcher it because I don't want to get flagged for butchering fake names. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll just correct you and it will be fine. Um, I can't remember it. <laughs> Uh, all I know is it starts with Raiko, Raiko, Raiko. Oh, Raiko. Minamoto no Raiko. Um, okay. I mean, that, that, that is just a lot more out there because of the design is super extra, but you know, that's the fetish of the artist. Uh, I don't really mind it all that much because, you know, one of the funny things about FGO is that they have a lot of different artists using their own styles to make characters. All right. For instance, uh, this is interesting. You will notice that her artist is actually the one for Dan and Rompa, and she did two characters. I see. I Dante. see the resemblance. I do. Cause yeah. her eyes. She did, yeah. She did Cleopatra, and she did uh, the Count of Monte Cristo. Yeah. Look. Look. Look at. Her, look at her eyes. You can definitely. I can see the Dan and Rompa. Well, I'll, I'll, yep. do, I'll do the glamour shots in a, in a moment, but I was able to get the, st the stand there without it coming off, but you have the... Oh, man, there's a, there's a lot of hair. There's too much hair. Honestly, it's I can't even describe where to put this. It's hard. Like, you just have to find whatever works for you. I'm assuming this is how it goes, but I don't know. I'll try to do a close-up zoom of this, and hopefully people can actually see where the hell you put that horizontal section, but good fucking luck. Yeah, it's a very big figure. So, my final thoughts on the figure itself. Um, I don't know who the fuck this bitch is. <laughs> Let's just say that. I don't know who the fuck this chick is. Cleopatra. Like, pure Cleopatra. It's like when you look at, at William Shakespeare, and it's just William Shakespeare. There's nothing weird here. Yeah. Um, her class, like, we didn't really talk that much about her being an assassin class. Do you agree with her being an assassin? I'm not quite sure. Yeah. yeah I guess. Okay, um, hold on. This is the best way for me to describe where you should put her horizontal stand. You literally have to find this little section of hair and put it right there. That's the, that's, in my opinion, is the only way you're gonna get this to work without the horizontal piece coming out. Like, this is a very bad design. In my honest man, you don't need the you don't need the support beam at all. Like she's perfectly fine with her with her. I'm about to say I was about to say something very fucked up with her um, whole heels, whole heels. Yeah, that, that's that's fine. Her whole heels, her six inch heels, but boots, boots. But other than that, I don't mind the figure itself. Um, it's a. The color scheme is interesting. That's what caught my attention at first. I'm like, oh shit, it's blue. it's. You don't see a lot of blue-haired fake characters, like straight-up blue-haired fake. You never see that. 
that Ooh, often. That's kind of very greenish blue. Yeah, it's a t it's a tealish or, or a cerulean. Um, the face, if this would focus, is more so on. It's from the Dan Danganronpa person who the the, the artist, as Stromic said. I can't really. My camera's not really focusing, but you can you can tell by the way the eyes are shaped. Let me actually move this a little bit closer. Yeah, like uh, I'm going to post post in Discord like a picture of her, of her like artwork, her fourth ascension. There we go. It looks very. Yeah, you can definitely tell that's Danganronpa influence, of course. But um, other than that, the figure itself, I don't mind it. It's a great looking figure. If you if you're an aspiring fake collector, I recommend that you do get this. If you don't get it, it's not the end of the world because this is a very obscure ass character that I did not know about until Storix told me like, wait, Cleopatra. I'm like, wait, wait, isn't she supposed to be Egyptian? I'm like, okay, we we are going yes, into that. We are going into that territory now, but we're not gonna do it because uh, Shion over there is Egyptian too. But apparently, uh, Egyptians are like are are fair skinned women in by Japan standards. I, I did that. Stormy, any final Just thoughts so. on it? <laughs> Black people don't exist in Japan. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. Of course. Uh, any final thoughts, Stormy? Not in particular. Uh, maybe if he had come with this neck, it would have been way too big of a figure. This is a tall bitch. This is actually very tall. Like this is probably as tall as Saber Lily or even the One Piece hose back there. Like it's very tall. I I find it more appeasing than Mash over there because you just have the gigantic shield though, just doing stuff. But as I mentioned, if you're if you're a Fate fan and you like obscure ass figures, I don't think anything beats the Zoomer back there behind Canis. Unless she's gonna stay back there because the Zoomer was uh, definitely a troll trolly ass figure. But I don't think I got troll with this. Charles, did I get troll with this? I don't think so. I mean, nobody's going to know her except if you uh, were into FGR. Oh, no, yeah, it's one, of those, it's one of those things where, oh, this she's, character... She's, not, she's in no other words and she's, like, been in some events. She's an FGO exclusive character, that's pretty much it. Mm. All right. Okay, other than that, get the figure for your Fate fan. Get get a, get the figure for your fan of the Obscure. I'm pretty sure this is, like, a $30 figure, so you won't be breaking bank. Just take your time with this because it's a lot of pieces. It's a 6 pieces for some weird reason i don't know why her right her right hand needed to be separated from the figure itself but whatever the stand might give you a the support beam might give you a problem because it's i honestly think it's not needed but hey if i had a choice i would just take it out get the figure i recommend it it's a-okay in my book we out till next time